So who doesn't love burgers? They're an American favorite. That's right. And now there's a new burger joint where a former butcher is putting a new spin on them. Wait till you see what's being done and being grilled up at Unburger in Dearborn. Michelle Oliver takes us there to dine in the D. Burgers and brats are what this former butcher, Christopher Oliver, loves to dish up. But the twist? There's no meat in the building. It's all vegan. In training to be butcher, in that process, cancer, diabetes, and the need to be healthier became a pretty big concern. So over time, he became a vegan. My health improved tremendously. What happened is that I ethically could no longer continue to be a butcher. But he still craves some classic American comfort food, and that gave him an idea. It bothered me that vegans were experiencing such difficulties living a normal lifestyle. Hence, he created Umberger Grill. I wanted things that had the mouth feel, evoked the memory of that stadium brought when you were six years old with your parents at a game. I wanted to connect with people and, and, and help them to realize that good food is just good food. Well, this food looks amazing, so let's get into the menu, and we're going to start with their sides. This is the red skin potato and Brussels sprout side. They're nicely sauteed on the flat top, giving them that nice crispy edge and it's topped with their homemade ranch. Moving on to the entrees, this is their shrimp basket. So it is a vegan shrimp that's deep fried in sunflower oil, giving you that nice fried shrimp texture and flavor. It comes with fries and their house-made cocktail sauce. This next dish won an award. It is their hot and spicy sausage. So it's a Beyond sausage top with sauteed onions, peppers, and jalapeno. It comes drizzled in spicy sriracha with their house-made ranch to cool it off a little bit. And we're serving this one with a side of their creamy lime avocado slaw. Now, let's get into the sandwiches. This is their fish sandwich. So it's a soy vegan fish that's been deep fried, giving you that nice texture. It comes with lettuce, tomato, and their house-made tartar sauce. For burgers, you have your choice of four different patties, and you can get them done up in a variety of ways. This one is their Southwest-style burger with a chickpea patty. So the patty is made with chickpeas, zucchini, and carrots. It's topped with sriracha, house-made pico de gallo and guac, plus some lettuce. Another popular choice is this mushroom and cheese burger. So the patty is made with mushrooms and black beans, giving you that nice earthy umami flavor. You get it topped with vegan cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, and vegan mayonnaise. And finally, we have their basic burger, but there's nothing basic about it. It's made with their ultimate patty, which really mimics the flavor and texture of beef. It comes with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onions. Oh, wow. Michelle, this looks amazing. This is so great. <laughs> it is I great. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> yeah, so let's go through what we have in front of us today. So you have a couple of different options, ones that I've already covered. So Tati, in front of you is the basic gluten-free. This is with their ultimate patty, the one that really mimics real meat. Yeah. Next, we have the spicy chickpea zucchini with South, yeah. and it's done the Southwest style. Then That's in front better. of Kim, we have the mushroom and cheese black bean mushroom burger. That's this one. That Ooh, one. Okay. And then the one that I didn't have a chance to cover because they have four different patties. This last one is the Jamaican Me Crazy one with the Caribbean patty. So it has, the patty is made with black beans, chickpeas, vegetables, and seasoned the Caribbean way. Ooh, it's nice. topped with pineapple, tomato, slaw, and a lime cilantro dressing. So why don't you guys- I'm gonna oh. give this a try. Take a bite. I'm, I'm excited to see what you think. Now I will say, I don't feel like they try to taste like meat, except for the ultimate one that Tati's trying right mm. now. They're mostly just really good flavored like sandwiches. Yes. So good. Okay, wow. Pineapple on a burger? Does it work? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it spicy? Not spicy. Um, 
I will say, yeah, it doesn't like taste exactly like a burger. Yeah. Like you said, they're not trying to make it like exactly mm -hmm, like a burger. Mm -hmm. It's a great burger-like sandwich. Yeah, it's a great good sandwich. Good texture, great toppings, great right. flavor as well. So good. I love that they have the gluten-free bun. Which yeah, they, is what awesome. did you what did you think of the actual burger? It's tachi? delicious. It's it, delicious. Isn't it good? I, I tell you, it's very similar to an impossible if you've had that before mm. or a beyond, but very, very good. It sears nicely. Michelle so, is so good. So they also have outdoor seating when you go there. So you don't have to sit necessarily inside if that's not something you're comfortable with. We have some beautiful video of their patio right here. So they have a couple of different seats outside. I like that they decorate it with nice flowers. There's plants Cute. all over this place. It's plant based and it's plant full as well. It's, yeah. it's all full I of plants. Like I see what you did there, Michelle. I like Thanks. it. I like that this is the kind of food that everybody would want to eat. It's not so over the top with vegetables that, you know, it's, it's not relatable. To and eating people. out sometimes can just be not as healthy, but this actually yeah. seems really healthy as I hold this mac and cheese in my hand yes. right now. <laughs> Um, well, I'm tasting the Brussels sprouts. They're really good. Right. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, now, Michelle, you mentioned this is in Dearborn. So many great restaurants opening up in Dearborn. True. Exactly where are they located? So they're at 2201 Michigan Avenue in Dearborn. That's right at the cross section of Michigan Ave and Monroe Street, right in the heart of that new downtown area that... Ford's been building up. It looks Great. really, it's gorgeous. Mm. Okay, this mac Another and cheese. Is what do you it, think, is it right? Everything? Everything's everything. vegan. Oh my God, are amazing. You, are you this aioli on top is like, it's delicious. I don't right? understand how this is vegan. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Yeah, just so don't. Just, gonna just eat don't ask, just mm -hmm. enjoy. Just mm -hmm. enjoy. Mm -hmm. Michelle, mm -hmm. thank you so much. This is another great find. Thanks. Well, if you love all things foodie related in Metro Detroit and you want restaurant recommendations and behind the scenes chats with fellow foodies, sign up for the Dine in the D newsletter. It's sent straight to your inbox every other Thursday. To sign up, look for the newsletters tab at the top of clickondetroit.com. And while you're online, you can join our Dine in the D group on Facebook. That way you'll always be in the know about the best food in Detroit and leave Michelle a recommendation. You never know. She might take you up on your suggestion.